Hey everybody, just wanted to make a quick little video. I'm actually feeling very joyful and excited right now today. And the Lord just keeps giving me sign after sign today. I know many of you out there like to uh, talk about how he gives us numbers and shows us things, of things to come. So anyways, for my little story about two hours ago, I was watching videos, YouTube videos on the TV and I was watching... Signs and Wonders put out a video of a man, can't remember the name of the man, but anyways, it was a dream from 2012's in the title, and it's a good one to go watch right now. Um, this man was given a dream from the Lord in 2012, and in the dream he was told, Canary Islands, Canary Islands, Canary Islands, three times, and the Lord showed him the Canary Islands splitting in half in his dream and sliding right into the ocean and sending the tsunami across to the states and he said the waves in the ocean were so big they even flooded around on the west coast a little bit not as bad as the east coast and he also said that he was shown the west coast and california had cracked right off and was like kind of going out into the ocean a little bit and there was like a a big canal filling up with water where it was cracking away from the united states so it's very exciting, you know, what we're going and we're seeing with Canary Islands and La Palma right now. And I put out that video the other day about Revelation 18 talking about the the angel throwing the millstone in the ocean. And uh, oh, what else did it have in there? The millstone in the ocean, uh, the bride being taken away. It says you won't hear the voice of the bride and the groom anymore, which is telling us the rapture is going to occur at the same time as this. So many exciting things going on. So I watched that, and that was awesome. Then I went and I put uh, Blue Heavens video on Gigi, for those of you who know her. And she was talking about Todd Napier just getting out or about to get out of the hospital. Apparently he's been sick for a while. And she was talking about his story how his channel started years ago about the lord showing him 311 standing for revelation 311 it says behold i come quickly which i was just thinking about from the the video i had watched just before because when i was watching the signs and wonders video about the guy's dream in la palma i looked up and it was at 311 views when I was watching. I was the 311th person to watch the video. So I was all excited about that. And then I'm watching Gigi, and she's talking about Todd. Ten minutes after I was just thinking about him because of the 311 on the views, my wife gets home, and she said she was just following somebody on the highway with 444 on the license plate, which is another number the Lord shows me all the time. So more excitement, more signs being shown. And it didn't stop there. I ended up, I just watched a, a video with Bob Wolf. And his video was four minutes and 44 seconds long. Exactly. And I'm watching it. And it was a video where he's talking about how close we are and how excited he is right now. So I just wanted to make this cute, short little video. You know, the excitement. I'm very excited right now. It's just one of those uplifting days where I feel the excitement of how close we are. We're, we're getting so close, you know, like... The merchants of the sea, the Bible talks about in Revelation 18, the, the cargo ships are all around. And um, I have a woman that, that watches my channel. I'm not going to say her full name. I don't know if she would like that, but her name's Carol. And she was talking about she could see the, the wicked people controlling the world want those cargo ships out there when the tsunamis happen. So they would get destroyed with all the food and cargo in it, and it would be that much worse off for the for the continent after things happen. And, you know, I'm thinking about what she said in her comments she left me there, and that makes a lot of sense too. Like, don't think the people in the know and on the dark side, they know what's about to happen, and they have many prophets of their own. I can, I can tell you that from experience being the family I was raised in. I remember my dad once saying they have we have more profits than you do on your side. But anyways, keeping this light, so many signs today, numbers and videos just correlating one after another of things I was thinking right before I watched them. It was such an amazing time. So I just want to put this little video of excitement up for you guys to watch. Here's I'm just looking at a picture of the kids when they were so young and cute for you guys. It's little Alex and Hannah. So anyways, you guys, be excited. We draw so close right now, so close. 
I don't know if it's going to be days, weeks, or a month, or whatever, but this is all in motion right now. I don't think anything's backing out of happening right now. It's just a matter of what day, what hour is this going to happen. We are so close, everybody. So everybody out there, keep smiling, keep looking up, keep spreading the gospel and the word, get as many people to the Lord while we still can. And if you haven't been saved, uh, you need to learn about Jesus and what he did for you on the cross and died for our sins. The way to heaven is believing in Jesus, the Son of God. He is the only door to heaven. All you have to do is confess with your mouth, give your life to him, love him, try to follow his example he gave us when he was alive, read his Bible, read the good Lord's Bible. It, you know, it teaches us how to live, how to deal with life. And do these things now if you haven't, because time is very short. You do not want to st be stuck in this tribulation. Because if you do get stuck in the tribulation and you decide you you then want to try to get to heaven, there's a good chance you will have to die a horrific death to get to heaven when you are in the tribulation. There will be some who make it to the end. The Bible tells us so. There will be some elect who make it. But it's going to be bad and it's going to be rough. So anyways, you guys, I wanted to share this dream of all the cool things the Lord showed me today. Everybody take care. Love you guys.